A warm welcome to everybody to the, today's webinar about product as a service. My name is Radomir Grucha, and I'm pleased to present to you in the AHK Industrial Suppliers Forum, which is happening this year in a virtual forum. Lomalogic is a headquartered in Silicon Valley, and in that sense, a company with a DNA related to digital transformation. We are supporting our customers, some of them you see on the slide, in the transition from the business as yesterday into the future business, into the digital business. And product as a service is such solution which I will exactly describe today. When we talk about transformation to the digital world, we talk about software. And on this slide, you see our portfolio related to software and software engineering. It starts from the chip and it goes to cloud on one hand. And from the other hand, it starts with clients, with the user interface, user experience, and goes as well on cloud with uh, all the data engineering needed to deliver value. This is the basic portfolio. These are the building blocks, which we use later to build platforms. And platform, which I would like to present today, is called product as a service. Platform is a, is a foundation of uh, such solution. And you see on this slide, some very important building blocks which are related to such platform is on one hand, it starts with smart sensors and uh, smart toolbox, which are delivering data, data which is needed later to build value. On the other side, as we discussed, it's about the user, user which is using today regularly mobile phones or displays and uh, which is expecting today a uh, good user interface with uh, user experience taken into consideration. The platform is based, of course, on the cloud with microservices, and the values are delivered based on machine learning and artificial intelligence with big data. An important question which immediately appears is the question, why actually do we do such solutions, product as a service? And this slide shows to you the most important benefits for the providers and for the clients. The providers don't sell any more product, which is a kind of single sale, but they sell service, which is more sub subscription-based and is long-term engagement with the potential customers. So there are a lot of benefits which are resulting out of this. Secured revenue flow, upsell potential, and client life cycle, and of course, the differentiation. For the clients, it is about optimized OPEX and CAPEX, because you do not have an immediate spend, you pay a subscription. So it is, it is monthly or yearly. And you have the chance to get more frequent technology updates. Uh, you do not have uh, downtimes because someone else is taking care about this. So it simplifies your operation and optimizes your assets. There are some market drivers which are leading to this predicted growth uh, of 35% uh, uh, based on IoT analytics. So this is an important market which is importantly growing. And I think uh, all the industries should have a look on this. There are some additional values which you don't get with a regular product uh, solution, which you get only with a product as a service. And these values are presented on this slide. Theft and loss pre prevention is one very important uh, factor. Location monitoring and state monitoring. Predictive mo maintenance planner. Information system integration. It, these are important elements which are uh, easier to obtain with such solution. Okay, now when we start to thinking about making the decision to go into product as a service, to go into the platform development, the first question with appears is, is our organization ready for the digital transformation? This slide presents some very important aspects which everybody should ask, uh, or each organization should ask itself if, uh, if we are ready. I will not go now in every detail here because that would be a presentation for itself, but uh, it's an important step before we start to make an answer to such questions. Once we have done this analysis, we should as well consider how actually such transformation will look like and which thinking we have to do related to certain aspects of business before we go into implementation. And it starts with clients as usual. Uh, with a new service, not with a product, we have to do a new segmentation. We have to think what are the client segments now and how will we transit our existing clients into these client segments. 
we have to redefine the value proposition. It's not the product anymore, which you sell more or less one time. It's a, it's a service with additional value possibilities. We have to define these values. Then we have to do the business case for ourselves. We have to uh, think about pricing models, how we manage the cash, because it's an upfront investment. And uh, what, are the, what is the impact uh, on costs and revenues uh, going forward? Then we have to discuss the sales and distribution. Our sales is not used to sell services, it's used to sell products. This is an important change we have to take into consideration. We have to think about new channels as well, which we didn't use to know. Then we talk about the product development and the, of the platform itself. It's a software base, modern design. And the question is, are we having right people on board? Do we have the capabilities for this? We have to think as well about the future support and development of this platform because it starts only, it, it, never, it never ends. Uh, this is an additional, additional area to consider. And then we have to talk about the ecosystems. As you know, digitalization is about partners. It's not only about our own solution because additional data, which can create additional value might come from partners. So we have to rethink the ecosystem we have and think about what will be done in house and which additional partners can join. You see here on the slide marked with the orange color, the areas where Global Logic is usually consulting and supporting its customers. Once we have considered and decided to go for the platform, then we have some important steps to uh, follow in this platform building. The first two steps are about the toolbox and smart sensors. Important elements, as you remember from the slides before, which are providing the data. We have to think about the redesign of these elements in order to get interaction and connectivity. And it is about usually about embedded systems, uh, how these sensors are uh, done. The next two steps are, is, are about cloud and uh, backend, obviously the core elements of the platform itself. But this uh, platform will not uh, work in a standalone basis. We have to think about integration uh, of uh, components of the consumer platforms. Then a very important step, step number six, is about subscription management. This is the logic, the business logic of our service. And step number seven is about integration into existing enterprise solution, because the platform should de deliver at the end of the day data, which will be, will be considered on the level of the enterprise. When we think about building the platform, we should actually think about go to market. And the question, can we do it faster? This slide shows the accelerators and frameworks which are enable and allow a speed up and a faster go to market. Here can help again global logic. You see here the elements which you have seen before when we considered actually the digitalization. For most of the elements, we have an answer, we have a solution. Two of them should be designed really based on very uh, specific uh, uh, situation which you, which, you, uh, which you are facing. Custom experience is always different. It's about the product itself. It's about the solution you are you're delivering. It should be designed uh, not based on a framework, but uh, specifically. Similarly, the security. So these two elements, we provide support, but it's not about frameworks. The next slide showed generic technologies, which we use for various layers. This is not about discussing them. This is only to give you an idea that Global Logic is uh, supporting customers in various technologies. As well, the solution of the technology, the selection of the technology depends on your specific context. And we are happy to support you here in this uh, discussion, in this uh, consultancy. Uh, but Global Logic itself is technology agnostic. We sim simply support almost all technologies we have existing on the market. Before we go to a uh, nice presentation of a use case, uh, I would like to spend a few words on the pitfalls to avoid. Obviously, when we think about such an important development, there are certain topics which might go wrong. And we start here with uh, the point which is extremely important because it's about the business case. It's about having a linear relation between operational costs and uh, user acquisition. So in, in other words, 
definitely we should not uh, have increasing costs with the scale, but we should have as well already a positive business case with a limited scale. With uh, the same topic related is only the next point. It's about suspension strategy of customers. What happens if some customers stop using the service? That should not uh, crash as well our business case. Next topic is as well very important. Slow progress in adoption of the required changes and operations. As you know, digitalization is not a project that starts and finish. This is a project which never finished. It only starts. And the success of our platform, the market, depends on the speed, how fast can we adopt and how fast can we change to the new market conditions and situations. And this is exactly something which we have to think before and we have to plan it properly. Last point is about weak interaction in design. This is usability. It's about usability of the, of the service. Obviously, today, people are used to very, very good user experience and user interaction. We have to take it into consideration. The, the service has to be modern. It has to uh, use the latest, the latest way how to interact with the user and client. Let us go now for a film which shows uh, one, of examples, one of the examples where we implemented such a platform product as a service. I would like to invite you to an application which is available on uh, Google Play and Apple Store. It's called Tao and it's about transform your business. It's a simple way to assess your ability to transform into digital age. Use it and we are happy to support you in that. Thank you.